Our crews saw scenes today, the likes of which we usually only see after a hurricane or a powerful tropical storm. Frankly, we went around Fort Lauderdale as a good Samaritan in a swamp buggy rescued several people in their homes. Fort Lauderdale has been the hardest hit. Yesterday, it got 20 inches of rain in just a matter of hours, and then more rain today to add insult to injury. The city is a mess, and going, getting around there is very difficult. Let's uh, take a look at what's happening uh, from CBS News Miami's Gabrielle Arzola, who's in one of the hardest hit neighborhoods. Gabby. Hi there, Elliot. To put into perspective just how much water there is, there was nowhere near this amount of water a few hours ago. Folks were able to walk up and down here freely, really, without any sort of resistance. And now, check this out, this is a much different scenario. Uh, to put into perspective as well, this is hard, really a hard hit, but also down the road, the road is still closed. No one is really able to go down this road off of Marina Boulevard. We're right now on Marina and Southwest 14th Avenue. No one has been able to go past uh, even two blocks over there because it is so deep with water. And really, the rain hasn't stopped for hours. And not to be dramatic, but the longer that this lasts, the more devastating that this becomes. Check out this car over here so that you can really see how inundated this area is check out that Hyundai that car has not been able to move for hours further down this neighborhood the water can go up not just by inches but several feet Elliot we were going in a buggy earlier today and it was the water was so high we weren't even able to get to the hardest hit areas if you can hear some of those alarms, that is fire rescue right now, finally going into those neighborhoods to see if anybody needs rescuing because a lot of these individuals don't have another place to go. They say, we're going to live with the water and see what happens. They have pets, they have kids. A lot of these hotels here are booked full. So they say that they're going back home, which is of course extremely dangerous when you factor in all that water and also all this lightning and thunder that we've been seeing throughout the day. Here's what some residents had to say to me earlier today. Uh, my sofa, my carpet, my everything, my food, I lost a lot of things. It wasn't long, maybe an hour. An hour? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was coming in, but it really, it was overwhelming. Oh my God. Yeah. What does it look like now? Everything's floating. I went back to feed my cats, and I can't find one of them, so. One, one didn't make it. So it's really devastating across the board. I mean, imagine you not only lose your home, but also many pets. I know that talking to other folks here that were out and about earlier today, they were saying that they're still looking for some of their animals. Uh, I went into several homes and they're still inundated with water. I saw people with leaf blowers trying to just push everything out with brooms and mops. Nothing was helping. And certainly with this rain, all of it has now gone back to its usual flooding in these homes. Uh, Elliot?